Okay, still at Gateway, still shooting videos of the people that I'm meeting here and just seeing some amazing cars. And I stopped and took pictures of this car because it's just so mind bending. Uh, but we are going to talk to the owner of this car, and that is Nisa. So hi. say hi, Nisa. Hi. Okay. Okay. So tell me what this is. Tell me about your car. <laughs> it's a 1997 Civic Type R N1 spec. So the N1 specs were the race model that were sold off the showroom floor in Japan. Okay. So. Um, and this came straight from Japan because it's right-hand drive. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, a lot of people, there was only, the research that we could do, there was less than 300, we believe, that were made. Yeah. But uh, what sets it apart from a regular Civic Type R is, um, normally it comes with a, a B17 engine, but we I got it with no engine, so I put whatever I wanted in it. Hardcores oh. will tell you I ruined this car, but <laughs> it's okay for me, because I it's my car, I built hey, it my you, way. Hey, it's your car, you do what you want. Exactly. But I kept the interior, so the interior is not the regular Civic Type R interior. They right. put in like the factory um, CX interior just because they figured you're going to take it out, put race seats in, take it to the yeah. track. So yeah. um, it still has, it does have a lot of upgrades. I still have all my stock, everything. I wouldn't touch it, get rid of it. Um, but yeah, we put a lot of time into this car. Well, the, the feature piece yeah. is the engine and the engine bay. <laughs> so tell us what's going on up here. So um, we ended up putting a K24, K20 top. Um, my favorite thing are the ITBs. Um, that was something that I definitely wanted when, when we talked about what, what I wanted for the build. Um, I just, I love the way they sound. Um, and then, of course, everything's touched in this car. The, um, the headers are actually custom made from uh, DTR headers. And so Danny actually made it out of Inconel metal. So it's the same metal that um, you would find on this, that was the sh space shuttle was built with. And Danny is? Uh, D uh, DTR headers. Okay, got it. Yeah. So. And you um, said your husband also was part engineer on this car. So I insisted on building the car myself. Um, I built the engine. I built the. I put the head together. Um, he guided me, and I always tell people I couldn't have built it without him by my side. Mm -hmm. But I did not want him touching it. <laughs> uh -huh. I did not because I didn't want to be known as the girl that Jeremy Duarte built her car because he's built so many. Right on. You know, high level cars. And so it was something that I insisted I was going to do myself, but he's definitely my engineer yeah. and they're, it's built the way it is because he knew how to put it, yeah. piece it together, you know? Um, what's, what are you getting horsepower wise out of this? Over 300. It's in a, um, over 300 horsepower it, in Hawaii. When I was there, it ran on E98. Oh, we, yeah. we had a 55 gallon barrel in our yeah. garage and, yeah. um, but now it just runs on what 90 it's 91 here yeah, yeah. it's 92 in Hawaii. and so. everything's detailed in blue which really is gorgeous yeah. it really sets it off plus it's just super clean yeah. great paint job on this too as well yeah my guy back in hawaii uh, prime auto body and paint he did an amazing job but i i feel bad for you because you spent all this money on this car but you don't have any wheels and tires for it you poor I know, thing right i feel like, so bad <laughs> Actually, they're, they're sitting right here on display over here. But when she takes the wheels and tires off, you can see. Yeah, you can't get them in teal, though. All the detail <laughs> in there. Yeah, the, that, that has, really... the Hasport mounts were um, a collaboration between Hasport and uh, Downstar. Downstar Hardware. So Brian sent them to Frank. Frank anodized them in his teal which is the same as all the um, beauty washers, yeah. so my car could match. Yeah. So if you don't mind me asking, what, what got you into this? Why? My dad was a mechanic and my dad was into cars. So he was more into like V8s. Mm -hmm. But then my, um, I used to be, so my first car, my first love are Volkswagens. Yeah, yeah. But, and same with my husband. There's but, some great Volkswagens here yeah. today. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, when I met my husband, I had just got a Honda. And then, you know. Was he, he was he building cars when you met him? Yeah. yeah. He, okay. We met at a speed shop. Okay, cool. Yeah, we met, at, and his car was sponsored by, I, I did the, I did all the uh, 
the accounting. I was the accounting chick. Oh, perfect, <laughs> perfect, I love and, it. And uh, man, we hit it right off. Like we met and got married in like seven months. Oh, I love it. And we'll be celebrating 21 years in oh, May. Right on. 21 years married. Good job. I could kill him a couple of times, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep them. But once you get past that, then yeah, I'll let you stick around for a while. Yeah, this is an occasion that I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh. Well, I can't, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that um, got into cars and are doing what they're doing um, because their dads, their brothers, yeah. their uncles, uh, everybody kind of had a part in uh, inspiring you to do what you do. Uh, yeah. Well, and you know, the level that I am right now, like, you know, my husband will call it the FU money, right? So yeah. if you have FU money, do what you want. But when I had my salon, we, we were making quite a bit of money. You do the so, hair? Uh, no, I'm an esthetician. I do okay. like body contouring and- Well, I, I just sugar. retired after 45 years of cutting hair. Oh yeah, see, and yeah. I actually, because I lost both my salons in Hawaii, I ended up getting into the finance industry. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I wanted something that was going to be more resilient. Yes, And not yes. make me feel as vulnerable as yeah. being in the beauty industry did. The, the esthetician side was tough too because a skincare is not a necessity like a haircut is. Not just know? that, it's 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 personal services. So yep. I was shut down for 15 months. Uh -huh. So I was the last one to be able to open. Yep. And I just couldn't sustain it. We had to You know what, I gotta, I gotta tell you, now that we're past all of that, we didn't close. Uh, we didn't close. For you. Because quite frankly, we had bills to pay. And uh, I talked with the owner, and so I called up my clients and I said, you know what, if you want to come in, I'll be here. If you don't, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Hawaii was really strict. Yeah, really, really tight over there. Really strict. Yeah. 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 So I just, it wasn't worth losing my livelihood. Yep, that's it. Losing my license for a $100 lash. Yeah, that was the risk. Yeah. That and was I the just, risk. So my husband worked his butt off for... Yeah seven days a week, 18 hour days for three years. And I finally said, we're not in our twenties anymore. Like we gotta go. Yeah. So well, I'm here now. My wife and I retired here too. And once we got over here, I found out that we've got this massive car culture in yeah. this town. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And uh, man, it's like, this is a uh, car shows every single week, you know? Yeah, so. my car kind of went viral back when I was in Hawaii, but it, didn't have the same exposure as it does here, right? Yeah. Are, so, is, this, is this your daily driver, though? Um, I used to daily it. I so when I lived in California, I dailyed it. Yeah. I would drive it to work. Yeah. Um, then I in Hawaii, like this is the level it came to. Yeah. And then it made me nervous to drive it, cause, uh -huh. not because of me, but because of other people, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you just can't. Yeah. So in Hawaii, I drove it like two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. Um. And then just here, pretty much the way we see it sit here. Yep. Drive. I drive with no hood. Yeah. I obviously put my wheels back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I drive it. I mean, I drove it when it got shipped from Hawaii to San Diego. I drove it from San Diego to here. Awesome. And then next weekend, I'll be driving it to the, the Honda Super, the, what is it, the USDM Super Meet yeah. over at Irwindale Speedway. Oh, very cool. I'll be driving it there. Well, it's I, nice to see. Uh, how a thing that a family does at some point turns into a thing like this, yeah. you know, and it's it's just great that it's you and your husband and you guys do this together yeah. because there's an awful lot of married couples that just don't do anything together. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you if on this. It's not this. cars. It's Disneyland. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> hey, you got something, you know. Well, we haven't done Disneyland yet. Yeah. Not like we usually do. Well, you're gonna you're gonna need to now, so because yeah. it's not that far away. It's like what three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Gosh, well, thanks for taking the time and talking with me about this. And like I said, this could be seen by ten or twelve people on the internet. Like my husband said, two people. We're good. That's right. <laughs> thanks a lot. Nisa. Of course.